Yeah, talking about unity, it will come to a point where those who truly wants to succeed are the ones, like the only ones, true pioneers of unity in diversity. Because one lesson we must learn on the road to financial freedom is, the more you can relate with people, not because of where they come from, you know, but because of who they are as individuals, that's when you realize and actualize that concept. You're welcome back to Street Reports on Airborne at uh, 103.5 FM. I am Martini Fan, School Greg Gurias, and number the first. <laughs> Yes, here is the one that never gives up, you know, the one that believe in the principles of upholding the social responsibilities of the press, you know, and actualize social change, you know, in many sectors. <laughs> Segregation of any form, call it racism, call it tribalism, whatever it is, you know, is practiced by small minds. The workaholic mind that wants to work together with everybody to actualize greater things will never act in that manner. Its attitude will always appear, you know, with an open mind to the truth, you know. Yeah, the Russian-Ukraine tension will, you know, show you that even rumors of war diminishes the economy of a people. Not to talk of the war itself. So as humanity, we gain more when we are united than when we are torn apart, you know. But sometimes the voice that always calls out for unity is most times seen as the weak one. You know, because that voice cherished peace, you know, they think that peace is weak. But after going through the cost of many wars in the past, you will see that there is no need to fight any other war and incur more cost. This is the voice that has been calling, like this voice has been, like, I've clamored for you know, social change so much, you know, uh -huh. this is that voice, you know, <laughs> for the clamors for peace, the cause for peace everywhere in the world, you know, this is that voice, Mwa, Martin Ifan, Shuku Gregory, as a number the force on, like, street reports, Nairborn, at the 103.5 FM, you know, that same voice made a call last year about a Russian site at Nobi, you know, today, the government control that erosion, you know, I want you to take a listen because that's the report we have for you today. As street report continues to unfold, take a listen. Then we'll get back to what we, we are discussing. The erosion sites at Umikeshen in Damunnobi, which have undergone Several construction by the government is now terrifying residents of the area with more destruction. Mr. Ifan Shuku Azugo, a native of Umui Kemshem Ndamunobi, describes the damages the erosion is causing at the moment. Yeah, it's a result of bad construction. You know, they didn't construct the first one properly. Okay. So, as you can see there, that the the concrete was not formed very well. So, and even said they did it on top of the old dirt. They didn't even remove the dirt there. So, okay. You see, so it got weak and it started pulling out. Okay. It's not as if it's not really as a result of the flood. Okay. It's just that the last construction wasn't done well. Uh, but the impact of the flood contributed to this. Right? Yeah, definitely, you know. But 
I'm talking about the actual cost of this trigger right now is as a result of the fact that the last one wasn't done well. Yes, yes. Uh, this is mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another resident of the area, Mr. Christopher Okoye, laments about the damages. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Izuchuku Ikenwa, another resident of the area, calls on government and the public. Come on, a construction company na lawyer. I dey put the DAB na phone. Iha na iha na gua iha na gua ha. Iha na yo buka government batala yo se ni maka. No kono lu federal di iha nuwa. Kaha batala yo se ni maka na mad na apa puzi apa. From Umuike Shem Ndamunobi, Martin Ifanishku Gregory reporting.